Hi, welcome to Razor Antum, where I talk about skincare and other self-care products. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Neutrogena's Sheer Zinc Mineral Sunscreen. My name is Jonathan, and like I said in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Neutrogena's Sheer Zinc Mineral Sunscreen. Before I jump into my review, I do just want to say I'm not a skincare professional, I'm not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm just a boy with a face and a lot to say about some products. <laughs> Sometimes too much to say, I know. Um, anyway, I also do just want to say this video is not sponsored. I purchased this product with my own hard-earned money. So, let's get into it. Summertime or not, SPF is so crucial to skincare. UV rays are the cause of skin damage, which can lead to cancer. Obviously, I feel like I don't need to tell you this. We've been told this for so long, but I just want to reiterate, daily SPF application is crucial. Even if it's cloudy outside, you know, the UV rays are still going through those clouds. I feel like that is when I have gotten the most burnt. There was one specific time in high school where I was like, it's cloudy. I'm going to go to Brigantine Beach in New Jersey and I'm not going to wear any sunscreen because who needs it? And I was like so red and very uncomfortable on Monday in homeroom. And when it comes to your face, UV rays can damage your skin's elastin, collagen, it causes wrinkles, sunspots, cancer, we've already talked about, need I go on. So, wear your SPF, that's what I'm getting at, okay? Protect your skin, protect the skin you're living in. So this product is three fluid ounces, love to see it. Neutrogena number one dermatologist recommended brand, sheer zinc mineral sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 50, 100% mineral active, hyperallergenic, water resistant for 80 minutes, and uh, the active ingredient is zinc oxide. Let's talk about the title of this product. What this product is called sheer zinc so when i think sheer and i could be wrong when i think sheer i'm thinking like transparent or like barely noticeable maybe um uh, um see through i don't know to, to me sheer would be like you put it on and maybe it's not noticeable the white cast on this is insane now i know with mineral sunscreens physical sunscreens the white cast which is you know when you put the sunscreen on and it kind of just sits on top of your skin you're looking like casper the friendly ghost but not feeling so friendly because you're out here with the white anyway i know that it takes a, a little bit for mineral sunscreen to you know for physical sunscreen to dissipate the white cast but this was insane it was like 10 to 15 minutes and the whole white cast wasn't completely gone. So I don't think this would be great for deeper, darker skin tones. Let me back up for a second. Before I jump into the ingredients in this, let's talk about the different types of sunscreens. You've got your physical and your chemical, and then technically a third one, which is a combination of the two. So this is a mineral, you know, with um, zinc oxide being the active ingredient. So it is a physical sunscreen. With a physical sunscreen, it kind of sits on the skin and uh, protects your skin from the UV rays versus a chemical sunscreen, which would absorb the light kind of transform it into heat and then project it back out. Maybe project isn't the best word, um, but they have different functionalities. And this in particular is a physical sunscreen. Did I say that already? Also, physical sunscreens are better for the environment and the coral reefs. Let's save those fishies, y'all. When applying, I just put it in my hands, rub my hands together, and then apply it, it seems to me, to at least give me more of an even coverage, especially because I have a beard. I like to get like all up in here, under here. Gotta protect the skin in here, okay? Again, the white cast on this lasted for quite some time. Usually it's like two to three minutes. This one I saw a little bit of a longer time. Now let's talk about ingredients. I want to highlight three. The first ingredient I want to talk about is zinc oxide. This ingredient is the main component to natural or reef friendly SPFs. 
as its main function is to protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays. Now, zinc oxide usually does not irritate skin, which would make this a good alternative to a chemical sunscreen, so that's another selling point, um, especially if you have sensitive skin. This ingredient also has antibacterial properties, which helps protect your skin from bacteria while simultaneously helping to keep the entire formula of this product stable. This could also mean that fewer preservatives are needed to give it a longer shelf life. The next ingredient I want to talk about is phenyl trimethicone. This is a silicone fluid which is commonly used in a lot of skincare and personal products. It is synthetic and the main purpose of it in formulations is to help the texture and spreadability of the product on your skin. So there are some added benefits of this ingredient. It does help retain moisture on the top layer of your skin, which can make you appear more hydrated and give you kind of a dewy look. But at the same time, it is uh, synthetic. And I know that this ingredient, along with many others in skincare, is more, I, I, I'm constantly using air quotes, controversial or more talked about, um, just because there haven't been too many studies about these, so a lot of people come to their own conclusions when using synthetic products, especially on something you're going to put on your face that's going to be absorbed into your skin, but I have not had any issues with this ingredient in particular. And the last ingredient I want to talk about is chrysanthemum flower leaf and stem juice. This is quite literally the juice extracted from chrysanthemum flower leaves and stems. It's got antioxidant and anti-irritant benefits, meaning that it can help improve the appearance of your skin, kind of reduce the redness and irritation. The antioxidant properties of this ingredient can help your skin fight free radicals and other oxidating stress on your skin. It has also been known to hydrate and soften your skin. All right, so overall, I think it's a pretty run-of-the-mill basic product. It's accessible. It's in most stores, most drug stores. It's relatively affordable. Um, if you're going to use it at the beach, just be aware that maybe for two to ten minutes you could look like Casper the friendly ghost with the white cast because the white cast is for me it's just it's a downfall it does what it needs to do but I feel as though there are better sunscreens out there and I don't love the word sheer I don't love that it says sheer zinc because to me and I could be wrong I need to stop doing that. When I think sheer, it shouldn't have a white cast that lasts that long. I understand that it will have a white cast because it is physical and it's a sunscreen and I should thank it for doing its job. Thank you so much. But you know, I feel like it's um, poor marketing to, to, to use the word sheer. If you would like to try this product, I'm going to leave a link down below. Full transparency, I do get a cut from that money. It is an affiliate link. No pressure if you want to use it. If you don't want to use it, just figured I would offer it up to you. Let me know in the comments below, have you used this product? Do you have an alternative? Do you love this product? Do you hate this product? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss another video where I review skincare and self-care products. My name is Jonathan, this is Razorantum, and I will see you next time.